man, does it stink here. I think this is bad. You should smell it after a storm. Not out of bed, but I still think this is a waste of time. You do, do you? We've staked out this place for two hours, and all I've seen is some guy taking a leak and a wino throwing up all over his shoes. You know, I've asked the dealers to sell their drugs in a nicer place, but they just don't listen to me. No need for sarcasm. You seem kind of preoccupied, like something's bothering you. I mean, aside from the stench of dead fish. My, uh, my friend Dingo's coming to visit. Dingo? Your friend's an Australian wild dog. No, my buddy Greg. We went through Top Gun and flew together on the Forestal. Dingo is his call sign. That's all we called him. I get it. It's kind of like a nickname. Yeah, kind of, but it's also something you earn. Oh, really? So what was yours? Forget it. Come on, you can tell me. Just tell me what it was. Wait, 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 shh. We got a nibble. to be buying smack. It's not heroin. It's steroids. Put in a full day after this. Doesn't she work for you? Yeah, that's Annette. She's got a towel and a toothbrush. What's she doing? Sleeping in her car, it looks like. Oh, come on, you don't win Miss Physique three times living in your car. I guess not. Listen, I have to get to work. Go ahead. I'll see you later. Hi, good morning. Is your bathroom broken? Oh, oh, no, you, um, 
I just came out here last night to uh, catch some air after work, and I sort of fell asleep in my car. Um, well, that's good, though, because I have to go train this morning anyway. Look, I know it's none of my business, but is everything all right? Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. Look, I'll, uh, I'll see you around, okay? Okay. So you're saying the stuff that we got off these kids were horse steroids? The injectables were. The pills were Anadrol, commonly used by hardcore bodybuilders. So then why would these scrawny little teenagers buy this stuff? To bulk up for the Bettys, dude. They're like harsh and totally into beef and can't hustle without the muscle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. Okay, guys, hey, Corey's right, but this is dangerous stuff we're talking about. Lieutenant, um, I heard if you use this stuff, it could shrink up your nads. Is, is that... What? <laughs> what did I say? Long term, yes. Along with bouts of psychotic rage, heart and kidney failure. And the big C. Lyle Alzado flat out said it was the steroids that gave him brain cancer. Exactly why I don't want this stuff on our beach menu. Chris, do either of those boys know who the dealer was? Nope, they've never seen him before. Yeah, but we got a pretty good look at him, and let me tell you, he is a big mother. I mean, I'd say at least 6'2", and on the solid side of 250. You know, that, that spot beneath the pier is the regular drug market. Why, why can't we just shut it down? It's part of the bike path. That's not going to happen. Well, you know, we can't cruise by there all the time. Just ride through now and then, keep it sporadic. That way, at least we'll keep the dealers guessing. Go to work. Forget your Japanese components. I'm talking an American-made Merlin titanium newsboy special frame with Paul derailleurs, Magura hydraulic brakes, Cook Brother cranks, and TNT brackets. How much is this little honey gonna set you back? 10 G's, easy. For a bike you're gonna trash riding down a mountain? You see, I knew you would not understand. Enough, enough! A little music? No more this song! You go away, you go away now! What's the problem? You arrest him now, huh? You take him away, please? Why, what's he done? He played the same song over and over again all day long, driving me crazy! I'm sorry, but that's not against the law. I'm Mr. Park. He plays so bad, he drives all my customer away. He played real bad. I'll talk to him. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Mister? Hey, you! Yo, Kenny G! Thank you. How about if you move it down the strand a ways? It'll be easier on everybody's nerves. Can't. They told me to play till they come. The saints go marching in? Uh-huh. You're not one of them, are you? No, I'm not. Are, are you sure you can't play somewhere else? Absolutely not. This place is a harmonic vortex. They'll lose the signal if I move. Oh, OK. Borderline schizophrenic. Got it. Sorry, there's nothing we can do. He'll probably just go away on his own. Oh, he not go. I give him food. I give him money. He still not go. Mr. Park, as long as he's not hurting anyone or blocking traffic, we can't make him leave. There's no law against bad musicianship. Sorry. Okay? Hello? Hi. Uh, can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for Chris Kelly. Uh, well, her shift just ended, so she should be back any minute. You two served together? Yep, we flew Tomcats. Mm. Two better eyes went, uh, she was one of the best. <laughs> so she tells us. And that's the fighter jock in her, supreme confidence. How else can you land a... $50 million jet on a poster stamp in the middle of the night on a pitching seat. She told you, huh? Yeah, maybe once or twice. So, uh, you guys really ride bicycles? That's right. You seem surprised. Oh, no. Well, yeah, it's just that I know Chris loves speed, so when she said bike patrol, you know, I pictured Harleys, Kawasaki's. Nope. Pedal power's all we do. Dingo! Hey, is that you? Hey, hey, my hey. favorite wingman! Damn, it's good to see you. Hasn't been the same since you left. I know that. Hey, TC, this is my friend Dingo. Hi, Greg Vernon. Dingo is just my... Your call sign. I know. Oh, and Chris's was... Hey, you know what? We got a lot of catching up to do. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Now I really gotta know.
something for me. What's this? Huh? You're a little short here, aren't you? I, I know. Look, I'm sorry. Um, I'm, I'm in this big competition, and I can't train if I don't eat. Or well, you can't eat if you don't have any teeth, right? Look, you know I'm good for it. I've scoped out the competition. Nobody has what I have. Well, I hope so, because the interest meter's running on the 5G. Show me. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. It's not a problem. I'm a sure thing. You know, I, I, I got all the cops in the world, and I do. Yeah. Have you been? I'm two girls short as it is. I'm sorry, my car wouldn't start. Take it to table two. Thanks. Wait, wait, wait. You were actually there for Operation Deliberate Force? Oh, ground fire and all. It was dicey the first few days. But after we took out their Sams, the only thing they had was AAA. And we were usually too high for that. Ah, oh, what a rush. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was, it was nothing like our training sorties. It was actual combat. The real deal. Did you go out with help? Big time. We had an E-3 command and control plane quarterback in us. The Air Force's F-15, 16s, the, the missile hunters. It was a full package every time. Oh, God, I wish I was there. It was frustrating at first. You know, we had to fly recon, but it paid off. When NATO finally sent us in, we knew where everything was. The, their command and control, their bridges, ammo dumps, everything. Target acquisition was a piece of cake. How many sorties did you fly? 80. Damn. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, 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 was, it was really something. <sighs> you know, I keep remembering something. Actually, I've been, I've been thinking about it a lot. Yeah, what's that? That shore leave in Istanbul. When we went to that rat hole of a nightclub and we got tanked on that stuff. What'd they call it? Reiki. That was it. And then in the alley afterwards. Yeah, well, we can't be responsible for that. I mean, that stuff was like jet fuel, right? <laughs> Maybe. But I sure remember it, though. Yeah, me too. <laughs> sure to dodge a bullet there. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. That way to screw up a squadron. Well, not to mention a friendship. Two? Friends, I guess. Rest, will you? What's the problem? We're supposed to be on patrol, not flying by in a blur. I like a blur. Scenery looks better that way. Run these bikes so we can blend in with the citizenry. Now so we can train for the Tour de France. Hey, if you can't keep up, just say so. I'll slow down for you. I know you miss flying, but it's not such a bad life down here. I mean, you got the beach. Fresh air, the sun. Yeah, it's all right for now. That is until I make Detective or transfer to Metro, and now that's where all the action is. Well, something must be working, because you never look better. <laughs> if we were still flying together, I'd have to give you a ration of crap for that remark. Hey, but we're not, are we, huh? Flying together? Oh, just rub salt on the wounds here. Thanks a lot, Greg. Sorry. That's the first time you call me Greg instead of Dingo. It sounds good. Yeah, well, maybe I got a little soft. Civilian life does that to you. You know, I don't know why I never told you before. Tell me what? How beautiful you are. <laughs> are you making a play for me? <laughs> yeah, I think I am. That, and it's not the Reiki talking this time. It's me. Yeah, so what do you think? Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh boy, good, oh, boy, bad. Well, I don't know. D don't you? Well, I mean, it's... <laughs> It's not that I haven't thought about it before, but I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Why? Well, I mean, we're friends, right? And, you know, you're probably going to be going off in a few days to some far off place. Like San Diego? San Diego, yeah. 
San Diego? That's my new assignment, and I just, I'd be a few hours away. Well, that certainly complicates things. Listen, listen, I didn't expect this either. You know, but the fact that we're such good friends and, and we have so much in common, look, I think we'd be really good together. <laughs> you do? Look, look, you don't have to answer me now. Just think about it. Lights. Okay. Fine. Hey, watches. I'm so sorry. Did I spill a little drop on you? Look, lady, what's your problem? You want three guesses? Huh? Do you? I'm so sorry, sir. Please accept a round on the house. Annette. <sighs> what is wrong with you? I had it covered. It didn't seem that way to me. The guy is a jerk. Annette, you've been short-tempered with everyone for a week. Now, do you want to tell me what's going on? Okay, I'm sorry. Look, I I've been dieting for this contest, and it, it just made me a little grumpy, that's all. Grumpy? Annette, you're out of control. Sheila, it was no big deal. It, it won't happen again, okay? I promise. Okay. This is a public beach. Come on, let's go. You're gonna get like that. Fine. I'm actually familiar with the tune. If he play all day, I sing all day. That's fine, but you just can't do it so loud. You're violating noise ordinances. Huh? Call noise ordinances. My what is Hey. Whoa! He, he broke my antenna. He, he broke my antenna. Oh, calm down, calm down. Your antenna's fine. He didn't break it. It is. Yeah, I can see it from here. He was killing the song. They'll lose the signal if he kills the song. And they being the mothership, right? You understand. I certainly do. All right, both of you, listen up. This nonsense has to stop. What you have here is a laughing crowd, not a paying crowd. So you're both losing out. One Baker 7, we have a 484 at Rose State. One Baker 7 responding. Just work it out. I don't want to keep coming back here. Understand? Understand? I'm telling you, those guys are a lit fuse. The guy was just trying to wash. 
wash off before going to work. An arrest report like this is a waste of trees. Funny, it looked an awful lot like indecent exposure to me. The beach was empty. It was a threat to no one. I'm sorry, sir. I thought I was supposed to enforce the law. That doesn't mean you have to go nuclear for every little violation. You could have let him go with a warning. Is that what you're telling me to do? As a matter of fact, I am. Great. What's up with her? Hey, it was righteous to her. I mean, the guy was swinging wild and free on a public beach. No, I meant what's really up with her. <sighs> I'm not sure. Could be this guy, her friend from the Navy. She's been on edge ever since he got here. I'll talk to her, okay? All right. Should be all right. You know, the lieutenant is a really nice guy, but you might just be the cop that makes him nasty. Public nudity was a violation the last time I checked. How long are you going to hide behind that I'm only doing my job thing? That's not what I... Save it, okay? Look, I know you said your personal life was off limits. That's right, it is. Then do not bring it to work. <sighs> if you've got a problem, you need to deal with it. You are way too smart to be making these dumb judgment calls. Is this about your buddy, Dingo? No, it's not. Okay. Fine. I may not be the person you want to spill your guts to, but you need to talk to somebody before you explode. Scared is good. It keeps you motivated. Give me a precious. Where the hell were you last night? I thought you had some money for me. I, I did. I'm, I'm sorry. I had to buy my costume for the contest, and they weren't going to hold it for me anymore. Oh, so you're saying you tried to stiff me? I mean, one of my your freaking sponsors, is that it? No, they, they weren't going to hold it for me. Uh, no, come to think of it, I think that's exactly what I am, aren't I? No. You know, I didn't have to ask. You kind of put me in that position. I'll pay you back with interest. The purse is $25,000. And you're going to give me half. I, I never agreed to have. Oh, I never agreed to carry you for three months. You got that, huh? I'm entitled to my share. I think that's fair. You think that's fair? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's yeah. fair. I think it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <sighs> Take her to the ER. Oh, that's insane. What are you talking about? Her heart might have stopped. She wasn't breathing. I'm with you. But if she's walking incoherent, we can't make her go. Should we try? Yeah. Thanks, Ray. Annette, listen to me. This isn't smart, okay? You stop breathing. You've got to let them take you. I, I just passed out. You know, I'm fine, really. No, you're not. I had to give you CPR. And, and I appreciate your help. It's just... I can't even afford this. I have no insurance. We'll work it out. You can put it on your workman's comp, OK? No, no. You've done plenty for me. I'm just going to go home and, and get some rest, OK? She's on the juice, isn't she? We don't know that, Tony. Oh, come on, Sheila. Just take a look at her. You've been around the scene long enough. You think that's why she'd want to go to the hospital? She'd want to be tested? She doesn't need a doctor to confirm it. 
Sure he knows what's killing her. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Victor, hold up. The guy over there. He got TC's dealer to you? I don't know. Let's check it out. Uh, Chris's shift isn't over for another couple of hours. Oh, you look like you had an interesting day. You could say that. Did you at least get the guy? Um, actually, he caught us. Must be tough, this line of work. On your social life, I mean. It can be. A lot of people don't really understand it. I can relate. It's hard to find someone secure enough to tolerate what I do. Yeah, I guess so. Is it tough having a relationship with someone who's not a cop? It can be. How do you handle it? <laughs> well, right now, I don't. Um, I'm not involved. Are you thinking about Chris? Oh, no. We're, we're just friends. Oh. You know, uh, there's nothing between us personally. Mm -hmm. You see, actually, I was thinking about you. I have been ever since we first met. <laughs> well, well, thanks. I think. You see, I, I never was much for the perfumed fifis. <laughs> well, this is about as far from perfume as it gets. What I mean is, it's not every day I meet someone like you. Uh-huh. And if I don't ask you out, I'm going to kick myself forever wondering about what might have been. I hate regrets. I have this feeling that you do, too. So what do you say? Would you like to have dinner with me sometime? Don't bother. You don't work here anymore. Sheila, please don't fire me. I really need this job. You need help. You should be in a hospital now. That, that was just low blood sugar. I, I didn't have enough carbs before I worked out. Come on, Annette, cut the crap. I should have seen it sooner, but I believed you. You're on steroids. No, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm clean, I promise you. Bodybuilders faint all the time. You know that. Give it a rest, Annette. You're broke and living in your car. Now, I've known you too long. You stop lying to me. Sheila. I'm not 20 anymore. I don't have a choice. It, it's not a level playing field out there. You check any of the top finishers in any contest, they'll all test positive. That doesn't make it right. Do you think I like feeling like I could explode out of my skin at any moment? This was my last shot. I was going to take the prize money and, and get out. I, I was going to open my own fitness center. At what cost, Annette? Your health? Your life? Like I said, I have no choice. Well, I can't stop you. But I'm not going to help you kill yourself. Talk to you for a second. Yeah. What's up? You've been on the job for two years now, right? Three. In all that time, have you ever dated anybody you ever worked with? No, definitely not. Um, it's not that I wasn't tempted, but, well, you know the saying. About dipping the pen in the company ink? Uh, not the one I had in mind, but it works. But what if you weren't working with him anymore? You mean Greg, don't you? Yeah. Oh, boy. 
telling me. I mean, you know, back in Top Gun, we used to spend each day kicking the other guy's butt in mock combat and then going out for beers afterwards. I really wasn't ready for this. Was it his idea to get romantic? Oh, yeah. Full court press. He really threw me for a loop. I believe you. Listen, Chris, there's something I... I mean, a part of me really wants this, you know? I mean, we really get along great. We have a great time together. I mean, do you think it's, like... Do you think it's a little risky to just move into a romance? It might be. You're right. I mean, it could totally ruin our friendship. But the way that things have been going at my job lately, I mean, I need this for myself. I, this could be it. That's a tough one, Chris. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. <sighs> yeah. Thanks. By the pit today, they told me you skipped your workout. You wouldn't be getting any funny ideas now, would you? Um, I was gonna tell you, but uh, Ralph, I, I have to quit. I almost died yesterday, and I I'm gonna pay you back everything I owe you, okay? I promise. Okay. Yeah, well, that's, that's right, yeah. <laughs> Oh, you bet your ass. I want my money. You're not gonna quit. Do you understand me? I can't do this. I'm sick. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Wrong answer. I'm gonna pay you back, okay? I promise. That's the right answer. That's right. That's good. That's the right answer. <laughs> I've been a little tense lately. A little? Anyway, I just wanted to tell you that, uh, that you were right about Greg. So Dingo is now Greg. Yeah, I think so. All units, we have a report of an assault at 1764 Superba. It's two blocks away. Two Baker 10 responding. Stand back, please, folks. Excuse us. Make some room. Thank you. Wow. Somebody did her real nasty. Dispatch, we need an ambulance in the pier parking lot and a Superba. Breathing shallow. All right, step back. Make some room. Come on. The woman who phoned in the assault just developed amnesia. All she'll say is, is that the guy was huge. Can you work on her? Chris is trying. I don't think she'll get anything, though. She's pretty scared. All right, canvas the crowd. Maybe somebody else saw him. She'll ride with us this time. How bad is she? Fractured skull. I've seen worse, but not much. Does she come to say anything at all? In and out. It's hard to stay in focus with that kind of head trauma. She did mumble something about a guy named Ralph or something. Ralph? I know him. All right, thanks. Work on the crowd. Stay right there, Corey. Grab him and put him down, please. Please. 
Please. That's the guy we saw selling to those two kids. His name's Rolf Agatis. He used to compete on the bodybuilding circuit before being tossed off for selling anabolic steroids. You mean he was stupid enough to get caught? Yeah, those competitions aren't exactly the natural path to health and fitness. The guy's bad news. He has two priors for assault, both on women. Real hero. Sheila caught him dealing six months ago and threw him out of her place. She thinks he's Annette's connection. Can we talk to her? I'm afraid not. She's in a coma. So we can't get him for the assault? Let's just nail the guy for selling to those two kids. No, not enough quantity. I want this guy to do some serious jail time. Hey, he likes to cater to women. How about if I'm a new customer? Oh, no way. No way. He saw both of us chasing him in the graffiti pit. I was in full cop gear, helmet, sunglasses, and my own mother wouldn't even know me. There's a point. I don't know. Don't worry, TC. I clean up real well. You wouldn't even recognize me. All right. I want you to be careful on this, OK? The guy has two strikes already. He has nothing to lose by taking you down. guy's like a genetic experiment gone bad. Kind of like the Incredible Hulk, but without the charm. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. I can't wait to take him down. Sounds good. You'll be awesome. Thanks. You know, you're just... You're still the fierce warrior, aren't you? Yeah, it's kind of like the feeling I got right before combat, you know? Amp but ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. What do you mean? Well... Nailing some low life isn't exactly the same as air combat. I never said it was. You're right, forget it. So, where were we? Wait, 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 wait. You don't think that this is important, do you? Sure I do, Chris. Hey, what do you say we start over again, huh? OK, well, let's just take it slow this time, OK? OK, we'll take it slow. Only the thing is. What? I'm leaving tomorrow. And I don't know when I can see you again. And you're not going to wait, are you? <laughs> Guilty. Mm, you're just way too hot for that, huh? Or maybe you didn't plan another sortie after tonight, huh? No point in returning to the target once you scored. Hey, hey, why so cold? Oh, save it, Greg. Did you suddenly forget who I am? Hey, well, what are you talking about, Chris? The leaving tomorrow and tonight's our last chance rap? You used to brag to me about it, how it never failed with the fluff back when we were buddies, remember? Hey. Just because I didn't do backflips over the fact your job is to take out human trash doesn't mean you should treat me like this. You know what? I think you better leave. Fine. Forget it. I don't need this. So long, Dinka. I've never worn one of these before. Well, the fun part is ripping it off when you're done. Um, listen, Chris, about this thing with, uh, with your friend Greg. Oh, we don't have to worry about him anymore. He's been dishonorably discharged. Really? Why? Well, I realize that he's a perfect man on my wing, but a lousy choice to ride in my bed. Well, your instincts may be right about that one. All right, Chris is going to make the buy. She's wearing a one-way wire, so she can't hear us. We'll watch her back. Good. You and Corey take everything to the south. TC and I will cover the north. Now, are you sure about this informant? Dwayne Feeler. The night shift popped him with enough quantity to nail him for selling. Would have been strike three, so he rolled over on Rolf. Even said we could use his name. Is it nice to have a reference? Hey, remember, guys. Corey, Chris, remember. No heroics. This guy is dangerous. I know. I've seen his work. OK, we're going to be close. Just make the buy. We'll move in. We'll all take him down. Great. Let's do it. No sign of him yet. I'm heading south underneath the pier. I'll hang out here and give you guys a chance to set up. Did you hear that, Victor? That's a Roger. TC and I pick her up from here. You and Corey stay put in case she doubles back. You know, it's been over three hours, Tony. I don't think he's going to show. We'll check it out anyway. Let's roll, cowboy. Under the pier near the water's edge. Joy. You, Rolf? 
Who the hell are you? I'm Chris. Feel this so you can get me some juice. Well, I don't know any fielder. I don't know you, so why don't you just move on? Hey, man. Woman, I said move on. This guy is sounding very hinky. You're right. Maybe we ought to take. I need this stuff. You a cop? Close. You're a smart guy. What are you saying? Fireman. At least I will be if I pass this physical. It's a real bear, and I only got two months left. I figured this is the only way out. What do you need? What do you got? Well, I got Diana Ball, Human Growth, Winstrol V, uh, Black Cross Chasers, but next to special little workout. Hey, you got it up for? It's cool. Do they help? Look at me, baby. I seem perky to you or what, huh? Hey, look at this. Freeze! Uh, Let her go! You yeah, didn't you? You're shit. Uh, Rolf, hey, don't be stupid now. Uh, you put the guns down. We're gonna put our guns away, okay? We're gonna talk about it. Don't let her go. Okay. okay? We're gonna yeah. talk. Okay. Oh. 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 Annette came out of her coma this morning. Oh, thank God. It's going to take a while, but she's going to be all right. Oh, let's go see her. Hey, the hospital's close this race. Tony. Come on. I'll give you a little head start there. I like to race. Come on. Parks to buy my new saxophone? Yep. Well, did it improve his plan any? Nope. So how'd you get him to move? I told him the mothership landed here once and took me with him. And he believed you? Well, sure. I showed him the marks where they experimented on me. What marks? These. Those are moles. That's what they'd like you to think. I said I would never spill my guts to you. Yeah. Well, I didn't mean it. I mean, you guys were really there for me when it counted. It didn't feel good, you know? Like I was part of a team again, one that I could trust. I can appreciate that. Oh, and since you brought it up. What? Well, this whole issue of trust. I think it's only fair that you would tell me. Oh, don't even go there. Forget about it. Come on, just tell me what your call sign was in the Navy. No way. We either trust each other or we don't. Okay. But if you tell anyone... Not a soul, I promise. Promise? Promise. Nutcracker. The nutcracker. As in the ballet? <laughs> nope. 